It's no secret that our balance changes as we age, which increases the risk of a fall. According to the National Council on Aging, one in four adults over age 65 will suffer a fall this year alone. And it's why more than three million emergency room visits will occur. Yet, despite those numbers, most of us don't worry too much about falling or give a second thought to the damage that can result, like a fracture. Unfortunately, it seems that those are dangers we can no longer afford to overlook. That's because according to researchers at Quebec Research Centre and Laval University, a fracture from a fall could be even more deadly than certain cancers. Please take a moment to hit the like button as we get into the details, let's start with the dangers of hip and spine fractures. The CDC reports that in 2023 almost 40,000 older adults died as a result of an unintentional fall. So it's not surprising that researchers set out to determine whether certain types of fractures and a higher risk of death go hand in hand for seniors. To accomplish this goal, the team combed through the health data of over 100,000 subjects, examining overall survival by gender, age groups and types of fractures. And they discovered that two types of fractures that are common to falls that's hip and spine fractures. Both types present a clear and present danger. The results showed that for people over the age of 65, less than a third of men and only half of women survived five years after a hip fracture. The survival rates were only slightly better for a fracture involving the spine. And with increasing age came an increasing risk of death post-fracture, with those over 85 suffering from the worst prognosis. Shockingly, the researchers pointed out that these survival rates are much worse than for those living with cancer. For example, the five-year survival rate for older adults with any type of cancer is 64% and doesn't drop to 43% until the age of 80. Additionally, the survival rate for men with prostate cancer is 94% and women have an 89% chance of surviving breast cancer at any age. This makes it far more likely a person over 65 could die from a hip or spine fracture than cancer. Even worse, the research showed that the greatest reduction in survival for both men and women was in the first month following a fracture. So what can you do to protect yourself? First, guard against the risk of falling. Do look around your home and assess any risky areas, especially your tub and shower. Next, consider how your weight may play into your fall risk. A combination of obesity and low bone density make falls more likely, especially for women. It's also important to check your medication since certain drugs, and certain dosages, can not only increase your risk of a fall, but also fracture risk. These medicines include, blood pressure pills, heart medications, diuretics, muscle relaxants and sleeping pills. A whole video is coming up on this issue. And to reduce fall risk, focus on exercises that strengthen your postural muscles to bring your balance back. Here are two of the exercises to retrain your postural muscles. 1. While outside, stand on one leg and bend the knee and ankle. Keep your pelvic muscles relaxed. This will engage your postural muscles. 2. Stand straight with your thigh and buttock muscles relaxed, then bend your knees and ankles as if you're about to sit on a high stool. Keep your spine straight and your pelvis relaxed. Hold this position for as long as you can, increasing the time gradually as your postural muscles get stronger, up to 15 minutes. The ancient martial art of Tai Chi focuses on slow, deliberate movements while maintaining one's balance. Studies have demonstrated the effectiveness of Tai Chi practice on improving one's balance. Finally, if you have suffered a fracture, you can't beat the sunshine vitamin or vitamin D for getting you back on your feet following surgery, which is of utmost importance. A hip or spine fracture can result in loss of physical function, leading to decreased social engagement, increased dependence and worse quality of life. But the sooner mobility is regained so a patient can undergo physical therapy, rehabilitation and functional training, the better the outcome. If you have learned something new please don't forget to leave me a like. In the meantime do what you can to avoid falls of any kind. Remember the main aim is to have vibrant health in your later years with 100% mobility. Also remember to share and subscribe to the channel if you like videos of this nature. Sharing is caring, see you next time.